Welcome to my 455 square foot mobile home trailer. The first thing I need to do is kick these shoes off and put my slippers on. Oh, I do need to vacuum. Let's head on over to the kitchen. Welcome to my tiny home kitchen tour today. We're gonna start off with looking at this beautiful piece of furniture that a lovely neighbor gave to me. I've got all of my daily items like vitamins, my water pitcher, different supplies that I use all of the time like collagen, instant oatmeal, things like that. I just have a normal kitchen just like most people. My, the only difference with my kitchen is I do not have a full-size refrigerator Instead, I have a little mini fridge and I do not have a stove. I have like a little kitchenette area right here, coffee pot, air fryer, toaster oven, microwave, and that's my instant pot underneath this little napkin. So in this tiny home kitchen, you're going to see a lot of supplies that are on open shelves. This makes everything look really cluttered because it's not tucked away under cabinet doors. It's just right out there in the open. But a benefit to that is it makes things easy to find. Right here is a very tall shelf full of food. And I like to have a large supply of food on hand just in case. By just in case, fill in the blank to any type of scenario you can think of. I wanna be able to feed myself so I have a lot of food. I make use of all of the little nooks and crannies in the kitchen to hang pots and pans. I even have my cutting boards right here in this little area. On this beautiful piece of furniture, it has a small ledge right here. So I use that to put boxed items on and I can just stack those up. It fits perfectly right there. I try to always have a path cut out on the floor so it doesn't get too overwhelming. Visually, all of the supplies scream clutter to me, but this is the best that I can do right now with all of the supplies that I'm housing. I really just try to make the most out of the space and the furniture that I have. You're going to see the big divider between the kitchen and over here is the living room. And this is where my sink is and this is where I do all of my cooking. Pretty much right here on the countertop there or on the other side here. I've got the kitchenette set up so that when I do get a stove one day, I can put it right here and then hook up an exhaust fan right there. But until then, this is what I've got to work with that works for me. As you can see, I've got two trash cans here. The white trash can with a lid is for the stinky trash. The red trash can is for the non-stinky trash. Underneath the white trash can, I've got a container full of applesauce and I have it set up this way because that saves a little bit of space. It actually is kind of nice because it elevates the trash can so I don't have to lean down to open it. It just brings it up a few inches. The kitchen is pretty small by today's modern standards, but it works for me. I got these really nice little towel racks from the thrift store and I've got two of them and they match. That was a really nice find for me. I try to make the most of everything that I've got in here and I try to make it look as appealing as I can. I know this kitchen is not to everyone's standards, but I live in a fixer upper old mobile home trailer. It's a tiny trailer, 455 square feet. If you're new to the channel, that's what I'm working with. So the kitchen is actually pretty big. It's a big chunk of the size of the trailer. Let me give you a different angle here. I'm gonna kind of stand in the corner. Oh, 
I know some of you have been asking for the tour for a while, and I hope that this is enjoyable for you. I think sometimes when you're dealing with a lot of visual clutter, it can be kind of overwhelming. So if you continue watching my channel, you'll probably see me over the course of the next several months try to improve upon this. That's always my goal. It does not have to be perfect. I just try to make things better as I've got the money and I've got the time. So this is my little tiny home kitchen. We're gonna work on separating the different categories of items. I've got bathroom, medical stuff, cleaning supplies, building supplies, food. I've got vitamins. Everything is hidden in this little pantry area in the laundry nook in the hallway. If you've been on the channel a while, you know I live in a small trailer. It's at least small to me at 455 square feet. So I'm gonna try to make this better by taking the food and putting it in the kitchen, which is over here. And I've gotta work on these shelves there to make room. My approach is gonna to be to separate things into categories. So I'm gonna put the building and cleaning supplies on this side. I don't have a lot of room to work with here, but I'm gonna stay on this side of the tape that's on the floor this way, right? That's looking good on that side of the wall. On this side, I think I'm gonna start with the crates and try to organize this so I can get it in the kitchen. If you live in a trailer, do you ever feel like your floor might fall through with too much weight? <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get those milk crates on top of the shelf and use this negative space right here because it's not quite a foot but that's a large amount of space that i could be using when you live in a small place you gotta use up every square inch i don't have a big home but i'm gonna make the best of what i've got and i work with what i got yay i cleared out one spot let's dust this a little dusting that's better Let's see if cans will fit up here on top. Okay. Yay, it fits. Got a small piece of cardboard on top of the plastic crate. But we got another cleared out space here. Let's get to dusting. All right, let's move this blue crate. I just slid the blue shelf from this side to that one but I've got to transfer those cans because uh, to use the first in, first out method. I added a few strips of tape to hold the cardboard in place. Okay, that's looking awesome. I gotta do something about all this. Look, I got lotion up in here. My supplies is all mixed up. I got to figure this out. I got to redo this. You don't belong there. I got this on sale at Food Line. I remember this one. I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. Well, I got this a little better organized to get these cans up here. All right, so I got two, four, six. I should be able to do six, 12, 18, maybe 24. I cleared out a little space right here. We'll do some dusting. Let's get this moved. It's not quite enough room knocking stuff over over here. All right, so this looks a little better to me, but I think I can still improve upon the look of it. Dust, dust, dust. Look at these legs on here. I, I don't know, I rigged this up with the legs that I had, but obviously this is not the way it's supposed to look. I'm just saying. Fancy. Yeah, that's what's up. I like this. I think this would look nice if I cover this up. So I'm gonna see what kind of fabric I've got to make this look as good as it can be. I don't know if these napkins are large enough to cover up this area, but let's give it a try. Yeah, that should work as long as I can weigh down the top. Well, this is coming along pretty good. Look at this little rack and set it up, but the two feet in the center were not hitting this so I put these felt pads under it and that's a good fix 
I've got plenty of shelf room right here for little things like bottles. I think it looks a lot better. It's not perfect, but you know, it's good for me. So far, so good. This is the finished product of my hallway pantry. I really like the fabrics. I think that looks nice. And I did two more things to this pantry. I added a piece of cardboard to the edge of the milk crate and I might decorate that to make it look better or maybe I'll just add a, another cloth over top of it. But I also added the tea shelf from the kitchen over here. I like that a lot. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just working with what I've got, making the best of this area, just trying to make it look nicer than it actually is. I wanna do something with the floor here because you can see the pieces of tape on here. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just gonna to try to make it look a little bit better. I'm so glad the sun is up. What we're gonna work on today is gonna to be the living room daybed sofa. I kind of made like little couch arms on it out of pillows and I've got my little Valentine's Day I'm stuck on you porcupine. I think that's so cute. And <laughs> so we've got our lane chest right here. But you see how on the pathway there's not a whole lot of room to walk right through here. So what we're going to do is take this lane chest and put it on the other side of the sofa bed, switching out these tables. I'm gonna put the little side table right over there. And that's gonna elevate the mirror. So um, you'll, you'll be like, not you, but me, I'll be able, <laughs> I'll be able to see like the top of myself in the mirror. I'm still rocking the Christmas pajamas, I love it. All right, we got this cleared off. Time to swap these end tables out. Oh, finally, I got that one out. I tell you what, this is heavy. We got one side done. Let's get this swiffered up. Got the little table on this side. So far, so good. I still have the living room set up this way with the end table switched out looking good. When I went to Family Dollar last week, I picked up another set of these light bulbs like I have in the kitchen, and we're going to put these in the bedroom. I think this will spruce up the bedroom a little bit. Well, here's the bedroom light. I think we can make this look better using those decorative light bulbs. When I got this place, I ran out of renovation money, so I've been just living with the dangling light bulbs, and I, I don't really know how to replace a light fixture myself. So I'm just gonna use the bulbs and try to make it look better. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these light bulbs in. <sighs> Gotta stand on the bed here. Lord, this thing is dusty. Mm, dirty. Well, this is another dangling light fixture in the home. Hopefully adding the decorative light bulbs will make this look a little bit better saw my other video, you'll know I added this to my kitchen and really like it. I think that's going to look a lot prettier than those. I don't know if I can just tuck these wires back in here. I'm going to try. Hey, I got that clicked back into place. Hallelujah. All right, let's see what it looks like with the lights on. Oh, that looks good. This might sound crazy, but one of the reasons I've avoided changing the light bulbs is because I was scared roaches were in there and was going to fall out. This place was so infested when I got it. It's just a running fear that there's going to be roaches. <laughs> we have got to redo the floor mat. Oh my, pardon my dust. Let's swiffer this down. Swiffer. Well, that's looking better. I made my own door sweep out of masking tape. I'm gonna finally change this out. I got this at the thrift store some time back. It's the Economy Self-Adhesive Easy Install Just Peel and Stick. So we're gonna try this door sweep out. Oh, it 
let's peel this off. Sometimes it's not about doing things perfect. It's just trying to make it better. One little piece at a time. In my case, one piece of tape at a time. All right, this just looks like a long, flexible piece of PVC with some sticky tape on it. I just cut this piece off. I'm saving this because I'll probably find something to do with it. All right, we're gonna peel this back and position this at the bottom of the door. I started at this end and I'm just gonna gently press it towards the door. Let me test this out, see if this opens. Oh, okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna press on it. Press it into place. It might not be perfect, but it's all right. This costs 75 cents at the thrift store. So if it falls apart, it might just do the job for the season. We'll find out. I mean, it does say economy, so I don't expect it to last. I feel fancy with the new door sweep. Let's get this doormat all fixed up. If you're new to the channel, I save paper bags to make disposable doormats out of. When I come in and it's raining or snowing, this will actually protect my floors and I can just change it out when it gets dirty. Here's the finished product. I think it looks really good and this will just last me a couple months. Unless it keeps snowing, then it might be a couple weeks. Tonight's beverage is chicken broth, and I've just added some spice mixture in here. Did you have any favorite part of the video tonight? Did you have fun with the kitchen tour? I hope so. Just a reminder, I've got a bonus video for you coming out this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Hope you can make it. Ooh, this smells good. Thank you to the new viewers who chose to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate your support and interest in my channel. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. I appreciate it very much. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.